application of biotechnology in industry the application of biotechnology or genetic engineering in conventional manufacturing refers to the application uh, of biotechnology in industry application uh, in biotechnology so the application of biotechnology industry uh, mainly uses the genetically engineering bacteria genetically engineering yeast and plants cloned genes the genes that we have cloned by using recombinant by using recombinant dna technology this clone genes having the gene of interest wo gene jis wo uh, gene ya wo host ya wo organism jo genetically modified organism hai this is called clone gene this is called clone organism now this organisms can be applied can be used in a variety of ways isko hum different ways mein hum istemal kar sakte hain isko hum basic research mein istemal kar sakte hain dna information uh, obtain karne ke istemal kar sakte hain ya characteristics of the cells ko modify karne ke liye usko uh, change karne ke liye istemal kar sakte hain lekin the most important uh, aspect the most important feature of this clone gene is to produce useful products to use uh, useful substances produce useful substances jab is organism is gmo ko is cell ko is uh, clone genes ko humne jab istemal karna hai to produce useful substances useful substances like what like the insulin like the hormones like the in enzymes antibiotics vitamins and other types of components depending upon the type of the clone gene is gene if this gene is responsible for the production of insulin so when we produce the insulin on the large scale that is the application of the biotechnology in the industry what is the ultimately result uh, of this uh, useful product uh, synthesis by using industrial biotechnology it always produce the substances that are more efficient and less expensive they are, they are cost effective and they uh, help in the resource conservation so biotechnology in industry refers to the synthesis of useful substances uh, depending upon the clone genes industrial biotechnology mainly refers to the white biotechnology as we have uh, classify the biotechnology into different colors green biotechnology that is agriculture white biotechnology this is the industrial biotechnology other than this we have the blue biotechnology that is for environment and uh, red biotechnology for the medicines so industrial biotechnology refers to the white biotechnology what actually the industrial biotechnology deals with Ex industrial biotechnology deals with the collection of scientific techniques and scientific techniques technologies that used to improve the efficiency and environmental footprints of modern industrial production mainly iska jo focus hai wo industrial production pe hai useful products ki synthesis pe hai for more efficient and for environmental friendly products microbial biotechnology constitutes the core of industrial biotechnology jo industrial biotechnology ka core hai jo base hai wo microbial biotechnology par depend karti hai jo humne recombinant technology hum discuss karenge jo humne gmo जेनेटिकली मॉडिफाइड ऑर्गेनिज्म बनाया अब हमने उसको क्या करना है इंडस्ट्रियल लेवल पे इस्तेमाल करना है माइक्रोबियल बायो टेक्नोलॉजी रेफर्स टू द यूज ऑफ माइक्रोब्स टू ऑब्टेन ए प्रोडक्ट और सर्विस ऑफ इकोनॉमिक वैल्यूज बाय इंडस्ट्रियल टेक्निक्स बाय यूजिंग इंडस्ट्रियल टेक्निक्स एंड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म्स व्हेन वी ऑब्टेन ए प्रोडक्ट और सर्विस देयर सर्विस आर यूजफुल फॉर इकोनॉमिक वैल्यूज इन इकोनॉमिक इंपॉर्टेंस दिस इज दिस कैन आल्सो बी यूज्ड एज अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ द बायोटेक्नोलॉजी देयर इज अ माइक्रोबियल टेक्नोलॉजी रेफर्स टू द यूज ऑफ माइक्रोब्स टू ऑब्टेन प्रोडक्ट्स और सर्विसेज फॉर इकोनॉमिक वैल्यूज बाय डिफरेंट टेक्निक्स दीस आर इंडस्ट्रियल टेक्निक्स these are different areas of the industrial biotechnology bioprocessing uh, processing of the food processing of the beverages processing of different types of products jo products hum synthesis karenge jo products hum usko pack package uski uh, isolation karenge uski purification karenge uski sterilization karenge aur uski packing karenge that is all in the bioprocessing so bioprocessing always concern are based on the gene of interest bioprocessing flavor and fragrances enzymes production different types of enzymes ye bhi hamare gene of interest pe depend karta hai kaun sa organism humne istemal kiya then agriculture product synthesis also uh, depends on the industrial biotechnology uh, 
bio refining the um, refining of different types of or uh, the purification of different types of biological products biofuel synthesis industrial biotechnology renewable chemical synthesis and bio based polymer synthesis these are different main areas of the industrial biotechnology industry biotechnology focus all these areas but the but the most important is the bioprocessing and enzyme synthesis biofuel synthesis and agriculture productions food processing what is the food processing food processing is a technique by which we produce we make non palatable and easily perishable raw material is uh, converted into edible and portable foods and beverages wo material jo non palatable tha jo khane ka kabil nahi tha jo pe, jo easily perishable hota tha usko humne kya banaya usko edible banaya aur portable banaya and uh, for uh, and we increase the shelf life of uh, that particular type of food the most common examples we can quote here that is the flavors सेवर टोमेटो जो हमने उसकी पैक्टीन को भी स्ट्रॉन्ग किया उसके कलर को भी रेड किया सो उसका शेल्फ लाइफ भी इंक्रीज हुआ बाय यूजिंग जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग टेक्निक्स द मेथड बाय व्हिच द माइक्रोबियल माइक्रोनिजम्स सॉरी द मेथड बाय व्हिच माइक्रोबियल ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड देयर डेरिवेटिव्स आर यूज्ड टू इंक्रीज द एडिबिलिटी एंड द शेल्फ लाइफ ऑफ फूड्स इज ऑलवेज डिपेंड्स ऑन द प्रोसेस ऑफ फर्मेंटेशन सो द फर्मेंटेशन प्रोसेस इज द इंपॉर्टेंट fundamental basic process of industrial fermentation industrial biotechnology industrial biotechnology totally depends on the fermentation the gene we have cloned we have uh, transformed we have transformed into bacteria that genes now converted into its products the products can be synthesized by by fermentation techniques so fermentation is the base is the uh, unit of the industrial biotechnology almost one third of the diet in the whole world consists of fermented foods fermentation is also used in preparing microbial culture fermentation microbial culture senses may be both important role karti hai yahi microbial culture and actually involved in the production of different substances food additives and preservative synthesis fermented foods have a very important uh, advantage that it has the better flavor it has the better texture and better nutritional values uh, by focusing these nutritional values we have to increase the yielding of the strands jo strands usko humne kya kiya uski yield ko increase karna hai to obtain more quality of the product biotechnology has major application in the food sector like it improve the edibility it improve the texture ye main advantage discuss kar chuke hain it improve the storage of the food increase the shelf life of the food uh, that is canning the food usko hum long time ke liye store kar sakte hain usko long time ke liye istemal kar sakte hain preventing the attack of the food by microorganism sterilization techniques pasteurization techniques ka application isme uh, both important hai prevent the formation of mycotoxins we have to uh, use the techniques that inhibit the fungal production and the production of different types of uh, toxins that are produced by the fungus that are called the mycotoxin mycotoxin refers to the fungal toxins prevent the degradation of by other toxins and anti nutritional elements jo dusre toxins hain unko bhi prevent karna hai aur anti nutritional elements wo elements jo nutrition uh, ko uh, usme deficiency laate hain nutrition ko decline karte hain kam karte hain un uh, ko bhi humne prevent karna hai that is the food sector iski application bahut zyada hai uh, technology Biology play a very important role in the protein engineering. Protein engineering means the synthesis of different types of proteins, the synthesis of different types of enzymes, the synthesis of different types of hormones, the enzymes that are produced by the microorganisms that are improved by fermentation. These enzymes are improved by using the fermentation techniques, and always these micro and these ferment enzymes are always produced in the tanks. These tanks are called फर्मेंटर्स और बायो रिएक्टर्स बायो रिएक्टर्स भी हम ऑर्गेनिज्म को बनाते हैं तो फर्मेंटेशन प्रोसेस ऑलवेज डन और टेक प्लेस इन द बायो रिएक्टर और फर्मेंटर देयर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द फर्मेंटर स्टर्स है या स्पार्जर है वो हम डिस्कस करेंगे डिटेल से इन दिस इंजीनियरिंग फेवरेबल एंजाइम्स ऑफ द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स व्हिच आर रिस्पांसिबल फॉर इंप्रूव्ड न्यू फर्मेंटेशन वो एंजाइम्स जो फर्मेंटेशन को इंप्रूव करते हैं आर प्रोड्यूस कमर्शियली एट अ लार्ज स्केल बाय कल्चरिंग माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म इन द टैंक्स जो उन माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म कहां पे कल्चर करेंगे टैंक्स में कल्चरिंग दीस टैंक्स रेफर्स टू द बायो रिएक्टर फर्मेंटर्स 
these are different types of uh, useful products uh, as an example uh, produced by fermentation or industrial biotechnology yogurt yogurt uh, it is the lactic acid containing milk fermented by the bacteria when the milk is fermented uh, into the lactic acid that is the uh, yogurt uh, in the milk the lactose uh, that is the type of the sugar the milk the milk uh, uh, yogurt converting bacteria like the lactobacillus bulgaricus, streptococcus thermophilus, these bacteria uh, react on the lactose of the milk sugar and convert the sugar into the lactic acid that is the yogurt. Buttermilk microorganisms that like the streptococcus lactis, streptococcus cremorus, leukonostic cremorus are responsible for buttermilk formation. Bread, uh, wheat dough is fermented to make bread. Bread is actually it's a bread dough uh, that is fermented for the bread production. It, it is also a fermentation process. Fermentation plays an important role in softening and aroma of the bread. Bread ko soften karna, uske aroma, uske order mein uh, fermentation ka both important role hai. Cheese production, it is a different method uh, from the yogurt production. That's why we use different types of organism in the cheese. Cheese is also the form when bacteria converts milk lactose into lactic acid. Due to the which milk proteins are also coagulated. It's my milk protein coagulate karna hai. and this way milk changes to cheese. It's my most important product. Uh, Sometimes we can uh, produce the cheese by using uh, citric acid or lemon. Uh, uh, lemon. It's my amne banana curd. Curd amne banana hota hai. Curd formation ke liye mare pas jo bacteria responsible hota hai that is Streptococcus lactis or Streptococcus cremorus or Lactobacillus lactis. Lactis. These bacteria are responsible for the curd formation and the ripening of the cheese cheese is uh, done by fungus penicillinium rocu uh, rocuforti and penicillinium chemibertai these two are responsible for ripening of the cheese soy sauce it is made by fermentation of soybean by fungi when uh, soybeans are the fermented uh, by using the fungi it will fungi it will uh, produce a soy sauce pickles is also a fermentation process pickles are made as a result of fermentation of fruits and vegetables uh, that when we ferment the vegetable and uh, fruits that is the uh, that will form that is that will ferment it and it will form the pickles uh, chemical products these are also called metabolic products metabolic products are that are the normal products of the microorganisms produced uh, and uh, extracted as a downstream processing these are the formic acid most important products hai, microbial products yeah, and metabolic products bolte hai, glycerol acrylic acid alcohol vitamins antibiotics enzymes acetone uh, enzyme then acetone and that's a product of the fermentation so these are the metabolic products obtained by, by different types of uh, bacteria by using fermentation process these are the 10 ways in which the industrial biotechnology is used in our homes beer wine and alcohol normally biodiesel household products like washing detergents seven different types of enzymes sweet uh, as sugar plastics Fabrics, dyes, tannings, tanning agents, nylon, and polyester. Personal care products like the makeup, shampoos, and skin care. These are the personal care products are the fermented products. Biorefinery, the power and the heat in our homes. Food and drinks, different types of food and beverages are the bio fermented products. And healthcare, uh, different types of uh, vaccines, enzymes, antibiotics, all are different uh, fermented products. Nanotechnology, it is the application of the biotechnology in agriculture, in environment, in industry, and in medicine as well. Uh, this nanotechnology actually it is the uh, design and manufacture of extremely small electronic circuits and mechanical devices. These are different mechanical and electronic circuits devices that build at the molecular level. When we molecular level, pe small circuits or small mechanical devices, we will call nanotechnology. Bolenge. Nanotechnology uh, mainly the very molecular robots and computers that are used to detect the contamination in food. 
These are used to uh, detect the contamination in the food, diseases in the plants. May detection ke liye hum nanotechnology ka samal karte hain. Uh, different types uh, it can we act as a biological weapons ke tarpa mein koi samal kar sakte hain. These are very much small. Uh, these are very much small machines. They are required very small wires and components. Very small wires and components are required for it. Uh, of what are the size of these wires and components? Unke jo size hai, nanometers mein that is 10 to the power minus 9 meters. Uh, uh, thousand nanometer that fit in the one micrometer that's equivalent to one micrometer so 10 to the power minus 9 uh, 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 these are always required in the nanometers so bacteria may provide the needed small metals जो मेटल्स स्मॉल मेटल्स आते हैं वो कहां से आएंगे वो बैक्टीरिया से आएंगे इसमें दो कंडीशंस है एक हम नैनो स्फीयर होगा दूसरा नैनो कैप्सूल होगा जब सरफेस पे कोई चीज अटैच करेंगे तो वो नैनो स्फीयर बन जाएगा और जब हम उसको एम्बेड कर देंगे तो नैनो कैप्सूल बन जाएगा नेक्स्ट लेवल में भी हम इसको नैनो स्फीयर और कैप्सूल के तौर पर डिस्कस करेंगे जो सरफेस पे हम अटैच करेंगे एब्जॉर्प्शन दैट इज अ नैनो स्फीयर और जब हम उसको अटैच कर उसको एम्बेड कर देंगे दैट इज अ नैनो कैप्सूल अब दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट यूज इन द इंडस्ट्री यूज इन द मेडिसिन एज वेल सेवरल रिसर्चर्स कल्चर एनोरोबिक बैक्टीरिया दैट कन्वर्ट द selenium that is that they reduce the selenium from the toxic form to non-toxic elemental form which forms in to the nanosphere bacteria are used to produce nanosphere for potential drug targeting and delivery these nanospheres these nano capsules are used to uh, drug targeting and drug delivery at specific पार्ट पार्ट और एट द साइट ऑफ रिलेक्शंस को हम अपनी ड्रग्स को टारगेट साइट पर पहुंचाने के लिए दीज नैनोस्फीयर्स को हम इस्तेमाल करेंगे रिसर्चर्स दैट आर यूजिंग द बैक्टीरिया एंड नैनो स्केल इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट्स टू मेक हाइड्रोजन गैस हाइड्रोजन गैस सेंसर्स के लिए भी हम ये नैनो स्केल इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट्स इस्तेमाल करते हैं स्वीडिश रिसर्चर्स आर यूजिंग एसिटोबैक्टर जाइलिनम टू बिल्ड सेलुलोज नैनो फाइब्रेल्स फॉर आर्टिफिशियल ब्लड वेजल्स हम इसको ब्लड वेजल्स आर्टिफिशियल ब्लड वेजल सेंसेस के लिए भी बैक्टीरिया एसिटोबैक्टर जैलिनियम का इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं अब हमारे पास दो कंडीशन हैं एक नैनो कैप्सूल है दूसरा नैनो स्फीयर है जब हम ड्रग को इन टू द पार्टिकल में एम्बेड करेंगे इन द पार्टिकल दैट इज द नैनो कैप्सूल बन जाएगा जब उसको एम्बेड कर देंगे दैट इज द एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ द ड्रग इन ऑन द पार्टिकल सॉरी ड्रग एब्जॉर्ब ऑन द पार्टिकल जो पार्टिकल हम ड्रग को एब्जॉर्ब करेंगे सफेस पे अटैच करेंगे दैट इज द nanosphere and when we uh, form when we embed when we uh, fit into the particle that is the nano capsule these two different conditions and these are used for the drug targeting this is a summary of whole discussion that we have discussed that are the principal products of bio industry uh, as i have discussed that the clone genes can apply in a variety of ways to produce the fermented products like the antibiotics vitamins enzymes amino acids citric acids lactic acids malic acids uh, other type of the organic acids ethanol acetone butanol biogas biopesticides nucleotides steroids alkaloids diagnostic reagents these are all fermentation technology enzymatic engineering and uh, different uh, uh, isoglucose synthesis glucose syrup lipases different types of enzymes like the proteases amylases phosphatases etc engineering and the cell culture single cell protein synthesis clone synthesis interferons vaccine production blood products monoclonal antibodies so we can say that industrial biotechnology actually it is the application of the uh, clone genes and the clone organisms are recombinant DNA technology ki jo application hai wo industrial biotechnology usko fulfill kar rahi hai to hum different types of food processing different types of agriculture products different types of uh, beverages uh, biofuels bio uh, uh, organic acids different types of enzymes different types of medicinal products and different and nanotechnology techniques these are all used uh, as uh, a biotechnology in the industry